Yo, yo, what's up guys, what's going on? So uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to connect print providers to your Etsy store or pr pretty much you can, any platform. Well, I'm gonna show you guys how to connect it to your Etsy store. And um, there's other platforms you can connect it to too as well. Uh, but like Printful, you can connect it to like eBay, Amazon, and Etsy. And a lot of people have been asking me like, how do I do that? So I'm gonna do a walkthrough for you guys and show, uh, create a new store and everything and take you a step-by-step -step process and show you guys how to link a store to Etsy. Uh, in this example, and it works. So there's other ways you can, other stores too as well. You can, platforms you can connect it to. I'll show you in the video too, I mean, in the computer too as well. Um, right here at this seafood restaurant, it's called Blazing Crab. Uh, it's it's actually really bomb and I'll show you guys too. Like, we'll, we'll, we'll go in there right now and check it out And uh, actually one of my favorite spots to eat at it's gonna be pretty dope because me and my cousin are here What's up guys? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's let's go here and go eat go grub. I'm hungry. I'm excited too. Let's go check it out Blazing crab Blazing Alrighty, yo yo in this video guys right so so we're in the back end of uh printful all right um i said i was going to show you guys uh, both print providers but in this video we're going to go straight to printful to etsy and uh show you guys how to connect it as you guys can see i'm gonna have this blurred out of course but i have four stores connected and it's fairly simple so i'm logged into my print uh printful um back end i'm logged in um i came over here clicked on the left hand side so i came over here and clicked on stores you click on stores and you're going to want to scroll down right here okay um, this is pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you don't understand this, uh, but just come in here, choose platform, right? You're gonna come in, choose platform, and you can connect. It's that simple. That simple. And just follow the instructions and what you're supposed to do next. Um, now, like I'm showing you guys, like one of the platforms that you can connect to, and I said there's multiple platforms that you can connect to when it comes to Printful. Okay. Um, I know people that make sales on eBay with Printful. Um, I know people making sales on Amazon with Printful. I haven't, Wish is actually something interesting to be on what a platform. Um, I don't know nobody there doing that. Actually, WooCommerce too. I know someone that's on there doing that. They connect it, they connect it and they're just driving traffic to like their website and stuff like that. Um, now Etsy, you know what I mean? It has their own market. Just look, it says right here, a creative, uh, creative market with over 30 million active buyers worldwide. So um, this, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect to Etsy. So we'll, basically all we're gonna do is come over here, connect, all right? And it gives you the breakdown too, guys. Um, gives you the step-by-step -step video on what you're supposed to do. Um, it's it's this simple. So you guys want obviously create an Etsy store. You want to create an Etsy store, and then you want to create a, a Printful account, and then you just want to connect it to. So only thing you're gonna do is log in, and um, <laughs> pretty much yeah, log in. You can come over here. You're gonna connect, and I think with this one right here, with that I'm showing you guys. Okay, so with this one right here. I don't have it. I don't have it connected to this store. So all you're gonna do is um, I'm already so I'm signed into another account, a different account, and then you're just gonna press allow access. Cause you can remember, guys, you guys can connect. So it's doing everything right here. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you all this stuff, all this information. We keep it in this video. You guys can see um, it's connecting all this, syncing all the information over to my um, to my print uh, my Printful store um, on the back end. So now um, with me on my um, what I do in my Printful store because I don't. I only use Printful if just in case I need to because it's a remember guys it's a print provider. Um, I have my own like I have someone else that prints my own uh, shirts for me. But in this situation right here, sometimes like they don't have a certain color and the customer wants a certain color and the order will come in but it will not sync because I have it unsynced. Um, it uh, I put uh, on the back end over here in the settings of with Printful to uh, to not uh, I have to approve the actuals. Uh, the sync for it to go through so I have it unsynced so it's, it's saying that it's syncing all the products over it's gonna do that but it's not really gonna sync with the listing so and it's that simple so it's gonna take a few few moments I'm gonna blur out this because it's gonna show my shop name um, all that stuff right there but it's actually that simple and I just showed it to you guys see boom that's simple it's all connected <laughs> pretty fast huh um, like I said I'm gonna blur out some of this stuff uh, because it's gonna have all my shop information and then um, 
then you do the same thing. Like whatever other platform that you see that I showed you guys, um, test it out and see what happens. Upload products there, make sales, win, and go from there. And then I'll show you um, a few other print providers on my channel too as well. I know there's some Printify ones. I know a few people that are having a lot of success with Printify. Um, I know some of the print providers that, that I've tested with them, they kind of they weren't so good. But remember, it's all a test. It might work for you. This might be sucked for me. One more thing too as well. So I have it all connected. And then also you when you come in here too, you can come in here and add a product. Okay. Now with these ones, you can only one you can only add one product at a time. So it would only sync with one product. Um, I have another video where I showed you how to add multiple products to a listing, and you would have to do that on the Etsy side. But yeah, let's gonna show you an example. I'm not gonna push it through because it's actually gonna sync through my store. This is just an example, and yeah, this basically this is it right here. I uploaded a uh, a PNG file. A nice little pretty illustration for Fourth of July. Proceed to mock up. Now you guys can choose what mock up you want, right? Um. Yeah, choose the mock-up that you want, and boom, you can choose the flat lifestyle mock-ups. I know they added a lot of mock-ups for everybody in here, and then proceed to pricing. Well, right here, of course, you'll put some nice keywords. You'll put some nice keywords right here, and then uh, proceed to pricing. I actually did a video, too, on the, did a video on showing a little bit of the titles. I'm going to do another one, I believe, on, sh on your, showing you guys, like, how to do a complete like give you a better understanding on how to do titles and stuff like that um unless i already did i can't think right now <laughs> sorry about that and then proceed to pricing and if i haven't did it i'll go back and do it okay just a heads up um you can cho choose like the product selection choose what category you're going to put it in and then you're going to come over here to submit to store and basically all this is what this is going to do is when you submit to store it's going to come down here you can see right here on the bottom it's going it's actually processing all right, and once this is processed, you go ahead and push it. It'll, it'll give you an option to push, and you push that actual um, listing over to the store. Uh, oh, it actually went through. Let me see. So, so I'm gonna come in here. I'm actually gonna delete this because I don't. This is an example I wanted to show you guys. And so I push it to the store. I can come over here and edit it on Etsy if I want to, and I'll pop up my Etsy store. I'm gonna blank all this out too as well. Um, it's in draft mode over here on Etsy, so it didn't. So I pushed it to the store, but it didn't. Um, I didn't publish it. So yeah, yeah, that was a that was just an example. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this, but as you guys can see, that it pushed it over here and it's giving showing all the information over here. Um, so that's 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 it right there. Um, like I said, I'm gonna blur out a lot of this stuff because it's gonna show them all my information. And yeah, hopefully that helped. Um. You guys can see like the, exactly the process of when you're syncing a like adding a new product or adding a new design to your printful the print printful part of it and then it's pushing it through to Etsy. Okay, so what you're doing is working on the printful side, pushing it through on the Etsy side. I know I had a lot of requests on this video. People wanted to understand like what I'm doing and how how to do it, how to how to um, upload from the printful side. So. In my previous videos, I showed you guys the, the different way how I do it on Etsy. Um, and I'm showing that's which way the best works for me. Okay. Um, I would have made this video at the beginning first, but you guys can see that it was just, I don't know, just I, I wanted to show you guys, I think, the right way of it working. Okay. Um, I'm not saying that you can't sing, you can't order through the Printful. The order comes through on Printful. You guys can come over here and. Uh, actually place to order and stuff like that so yeah yeah hopefully that video helps if you guys have any questions feel free to comment down below like and subscribe thank you